hello, this is Hussam Hurani, and to, today we will continue our lessons in data uh, mining and uh, precisely text mining. And today we'll talk about sentiment analysis. Let me directly explain this uh, to you uh, in a direct way. So um, we will bring first the corpus. This is the corpus, and from corpus, what I gonna do? I gonna browse uh, to a certain folder, and I gonna select uh, from sentiment analysis. I gonna uh, use English tweet, um, English tweet. Uh, this this is the one. English short tweets. English short tweets. We have tweet, and we have also the tweet in the feature. Now, with this one, let me show you exactly which uh, file I have, have cho I have chosen. This is the file. We, so we have these tweets, very simple tweets, so I can explain what this sentiment in, uh, is all about. So we have uh, the ID and the tweet, uh, ID number two and the tweet. The first tweet is, uh, she is a good dancer. The second one is, uh, this book is the best in town. Uh, the question, is this uh, statement positive or negative statement or a neutral statement neutral sta statement or what is the combine between all these things so the purpose of sentiment analysis is to analyze the sentiment of this statement if it's positive statement negative statement neutral or uh, the combine so this is what we're gonna do so for, from just reading this statement you will uh, yani, uh, uh, judge that this statement is positive she is a good dancer now, if you read the last one, he is disgusting. Uh, this is a very negative statement. Let's see how we can uh, we can identify all of this in orange data mining. So, I've chosen the English short tweets .excel. I'm gonna keep this file in the GitHub for you to download and try try it yourself. And from here, you can do first one thing, which is uh, Corbus Corbus Viewer Corbus Viewer. Okay, from Corpus, you will see all these, uh, you know, uh, statements. So you directly connect to sentiment, sentiment analysis, if you want. Okay. And from sentiment, you can choose which language you would like to do, which sentiment method you would like to do. Maybe maybe we can uh, use the Vedar for now, but you can choose the multi-sentiment and use the language, which language you are uh, uh, dealing with. You can choose, for example, multi-sentiment analysis or Vader. Let's try this one. And uh, the sentiment is done. To view it, we can uh, go, for example, into um, Corpus Viewer or uh, Data Table. Data Table. See from Data Table, this is the tweet. Okay. He is a good dancer. And the positive is 0.49. Okay, the negative is zero. So you can now understand that or you can uh, b uh, conclude that this is a positive statement. You can click on positive, negative, uh, new, uh, new, uh, neutral, 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 or compound. So if you click on the positive, you will see uh, um, twice the most positive word is he is a great guy. This is a positive statement. Of course, this is not a neg negative, so it's zero. The neutral is 0 0.4 and the compound between all is 0 0.62. Uh, let us click on the negative. Let's see the highest negative 0 0.6. He is disgusting. So the uh, negative is he is disgusting. So from this table, we identified which statement is positive, negative, neutral or compound. We, we can identify and we can also save the whole thing now into save file. Okay, and we can put it in a report. So we can click in the save, save as, for example, Excel. You can go to Excel sheet or a CSV file, whatever, and you can save it and you can then uh, uh, use this, this file. So this is the first thing I wanted to show you. Of course, you can also connect to Corpus Viewer, Corpus Viewer also, but for the Corpus Viewer, you will see each statement and all these values id positive negative uh, neutral and compound see per each per each one okay so this is how you see the um, statements in sentiment analysis so this is the first part i would like i wanted to show you now let's also talk about the second part the second part i wanted to show you is the tweets we have tweets here and from the tweets real tweets from twitter uh, we would like to see the sentiment for all these tweets. This is a big file. 
okay so let's uh, try to uh, play with this file and see how we're gonna show the uh, uh, the sentiment analysis so i'm gonna click on uh, corpus corpus <clears throat> and from corpus i'm gonna go and select the the file i wanted to show you which is this file here naming um, english short tweets Engl uh, not this one but i need to choose the uh, second uh, second file which is uh, which is uh, this file uh, English tweets no label English tweets no label so I'm gonna go and browse this file so I'm gonna go to sentiment analysis and from sentiment analysis English tweets no label so we don't have labels for this one so uh, this is done so now you can go to corpus viewer and from corpus viewer you can uh, uh, see all these you know these tweets okay we have many tweets we have 5,600 uh, 5,961 tweets so now you can connect direct to sentiment sentiment analysis okay and from sentiment you can uh, do the setup for you you can choose the language the multi uh, sentiment uh, 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 method you can use the leo uh, hu method and then you can choose the language we have many languages here see all these languages you can use okay uh, and you can go into this one also there is also different uh, languages let me use this one for instance because it's in english and it's straightforward with this one so you can click or, or you can go into data table okay and see all the tweets these are the tweets okay ids tweets and you can see the negative and positive let's for example see the most positive words which is this one happy friday you all etc etc uh, you can also see the most negative words uh, statements uh, this is the uh, definitely a, a negative statement this is also a negative statement uh, also this is a negative all these are negative statements okay and this is the compound compound uh, uh, measures for all these statements so as you can see the positive negative neutral and compound this is the first thing also i would like to see uh, the heat map for this one so i gonna for instance go and select columns select columns and from select columns i will just use uh, 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 the positive negative neutral and compound and i gonna move the id tweets into meters as you can see I just want to see these in heat map these four measures okay and from this you can also uh, do sampling uh, sample sampler data sampler I don't want to see all the data I want to use for example 10% uh, this is the 10% so this is it and from here you can go to heat heat map okay and from heat map okay it will take uh, yes done so from heat map you can use the coloring schema so the blue is uh, negative and the red is positive okay as you can see you can choose whatever you want to see from here for example i want to see this part or for example this part and uh, or this part smaller part this part for example and from here you can uh, choose the uh, core bus viewer okay core bus viewer and you can see all the documents and the tweets that relates to the to that part okay to that part uh, and um, as you can see it's, it's very straightforward we've done uh, sentiment analysis and by the way you can do some pre-process text before the sentiment if you want you can for example remove certain words etc etc before you do sentiment analysis directly but this is uh, a direct connection between corpus and sentiment analysis but also you can do the pretext format for the first example you can uh, as i said you can choose uh, multi sentiment analysis this is english so you can see the the results here okay the multi language and uh, the multi uh, language if you double click in the multi language sentiment and you choose english you will see different uh, things you, do, you don't want to you don't uh, see the neutral uh, positive negative you just see the sentiment itself so uh, the highest the highest is the positive and the smallest is the negative okay so this is positive and this is negative and this is negative etc 
So this is the sentiment for the second option. And also if we choose uh, the first one, okay, the first one, this one, and this English, you will have the same thing. You will have uh, the sentiment as negative and positive values in just one column. So this is an important for you to know. So this is the most positive, and th this is, for example, the most positive, and this is the uh, most neg negative, okay? So this is disgusting, is uh, negative, so it's one just one, uh, one column, one column, one feature. And you can try also the other things and see exactly what you're gonna get, but this is the sentiment analysis in Orange Data Mining. I hope that the lesson was very um, useful for you and we'll see you in our next lesson. Till then, enjoy data mining and bye.